So we are going to do another set of exercise for the knee. Again, it's five set. Um, starting off with the quads. So uh, what I want you to do first is um, you're just going to find your wall and bend your knees to nearly about uh, 60 to 90 degrees. Bring your feet uh, slightly forward so you're in a negative shin angle, not in a neutral, more negative. And the first thing I want you to do is to fire the gastroc and soleus muscles. What you're going to do, you're going to stay there and then you're just going to lift your... Uh, sorry. You're going to lift your feet up. So you're just going to do that uh, 20 times. Once you've done that, um, you're going to bring your feet towards um, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. And what you're going to do, you're going to raise your heel now. So you're going to do that for 20 times. Once you're done, you're going to bring your heel backwards a little bit so now your ankles are a little bit dorsiflex so your knee are on the on over near slightly over the toes and then you can stand here for about 20 seconds or so and if you want you can raise your heel a little bit otherwise you can just stay there and hold it for 20 seconds The next exercise that we are going to do is in the quadruped position. So in this position, you're going to raise your knee upwards and then take one foot off. Okay. And then you're just going to lift one foot and then you're just going to hold it for about 20 seconds or so. And then you're just going to change your leg. For the third exercise, we are going to do reverse Nordic. What you're going to do, you're going to lean as far back as you can. And then come back up. So you're going to do that for another 20 times. So if I show you from the front. The fourth exercise that we are going to do is called CC squat. Um, if you feel uncom, if you feel, don't feel confident to do it, then don't do it. What we are going to do, we are just going to bend our knees as far as we can towards the front. Okay, you can use a wall to support yourself. And then just do that for about 20 times, okay? The last one that we are going to do uh, might be more difficult. So again, uh, if you don't feel comfortable and not confident yet, uh, don't do that first. So with this movement, um, we are going to bend our knee as far as we can and we are going to stretch a little bit of the hip flexor on the other leg. 
Okay, so this is how it looks like. Try to use something that can support yourself from coming upwards. So when you go down, go all the way as far as you can. And you can lift your heel upwards. Okay. So notice my back knee is not touching the ground. It's floating over the ground. And if you can do that, do that about maybe instead of doing it 20 times straight away, you can do five times and rest and do it three sets. Let me show you another angle. Uh, you can even use another support so you don't load your knee too much. Okay. 